Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Natalia here and right now I want to apologize guys for not posting any video lately I'm moving my craft room, i given up my huge craft room and give it to my son uh, because his bedroom was so small he called it a shoebox so <laughs> I have to give up my craft room as much as I love my space but now I'm moving my craft to his bedroom and his bedroom will go to my craft room also some of my stuff will go in the family room so I'm instead of one space I will have two places kind of crafting area so as of right now guys I hope you have enough light in here because my night table light is gone I need to replace it I hope I can find um, this maybe in Walmart or something I don't know so yes we're not having any extra light only what I have right now from my window and the top light so anyway if you didn't see my unboxing as you can see I have some surprise in here as well um, if you didn't see my unboxing with this gorgeous gems uh, yeah I can link it up for you and the link uh, for this canvas is this is from sesdeal.com and they do have two canvases that coordinate with each other and they all full drill sparkles so and I have so many requests guys to do this together so you can see how this look like because some of you well lots of you went and purchased this diamond painting already some of you waiting for me to start work on it so you can see how drills looks like but as I did in my unboxing these drills guys are so beautiful and sparkled so I thought you know I will put these drills into the containers together with you because lots of you like this process but before I do that I have a little surprise in here from my Canadian friend uh, we met each other on Instagram and her name is um, that driller I believe so um, and she sent me this beautiful gift and I'm gonna show you what's in here and we will test it out with you together right on this canvas um, so here you go something else inside okay that's it so she does and right in here um, I will show you rubber band drill pants that itsy dot com and this is her Instagram that driller so if you guys like this kind of look look at this beautiful pants she made and she put some rose charm I love flowers and she added three placer in here which is my always favorite one thank you very much for paying attention to me <laughs> and a one pen so I think this is a great for those who has a trouble to work for example like with one for people with arthritis I will say sometimes it's really hard to hold on to something so thin and in here uh, we will test it out it's it's nice squishy soft to hold I don't know if it's gonna hurt like fingers for rubber bands or not if you drill too long but you don't have to squish your pen too hard so I think it would work wonderful my little girl love it because it's so different right look at this she did beautiful job uh, I used to buy this rubber bands for my kids to do some design and I have boxes and boxes of them and they just laying around and um, I love what that driller did it she combined many different colors and she has a lots of different designs so check her out guys and help her in her uh, small business journey by creating something with her own hands and selling an Etsy so thank you so much for this gift and as I see here something else is a thank you thank you gift and she sent me a piece of wax and there's some tool in here guys that I never saw before and I want to show you this is something special so thank you so much for sending to me I thought first this is like a four drill 
uh, stylist or something, but it's not. Um, sorry, I have some cut. I've been moving so many stuff, guys, around. Look at this. This is drill pusher. Here's the how thin that is. So I guess this is to line up your drills. This is amazing. I never saw this kind of tool yet. So I'm not going to risk to pull out this one and replace it because I'm afraid uh, rubber bands can't you know, jump out. But I have so many of this empty drill pan from different company that I'm just going to attach in here. And as you can see, work perfectly fine. And then we will try how this is going to work. This is awesome. Thank you so much for your gift, my dear friend. She is Canadian as well, same as I am from Canada. So thank you so much for sending these goodies to me. Awesome. I wish you all the best of luck for your business. You're making a beautiful pants. And they should be very comfy and squishy. So we will try to drill on this canvas after we kitten up our drills. Okay, thank you very much. I love my gift. So now guys, uh, some of you like to see me doing this kind of <laughs> video by putting gems into containers and some squeaks for those people who love squeaks. And because these drills are so beautiful, so shiny, so I decided to do this together with you. It's like a frosty feeling of these drills. Um, and I just can't have enough. These two drills I think is my favorite from the bunch. And, and please ignore my overgrown nails. I need to fix them. I need to do new gel nails and I just don't have a time yet till I settle my rooms. Okay, so I have in here containers. This kind of containers from dollar store. And I already mark my lids with the silver marker because black one downstairs somewhere so all in all order from 1 to 5 because we have a uh, from 1 to 15 sorry uh, we have a 15 colors in here so let me I guess start I'm gonna find my container first and lid number one and I have my crafty scissors my favorite pair, pair of scissors that I used to use only like for the ribbons or very to cut some paper like very very thin lines so nobody else in the family allowed to use them but now because this is so easy to cut this paper I don't think I'm gonna damage them so let's get started and at the same time we're gonna enjoy more of the sparkles and please check it out video on uh, I mean links under video I will post link to this canvas uh, under my video and guys the link is will, will be affiliated what does it mean um, this is not gonna be like money taken from you but from the company if you click on the link and buy from my link I will receive uh, some commission so that's how this is gonna work okay so number one just make sure it's empty because we don't want to waste any and then each color if I remember I will be showing you close up it's absolutely gorgeous very very sparkle and I have this um, I don't even know guys what is this kind of material but it's nice uh, nice and squishy and I have a whole bunch of these containers so I'm gonna organize my drills in it okay let's go to the color number two if you don't like to have um, wait on me for this kitten up video you can skip and watch next part when I'm gonna do drill with you a little bit and I can put for you timeline uh, 
um, under video so you can go straight up to that time mark and watch a uh, long time ago I asked if you guys like uh, my video to um, if I speed up video and not just drill like slowly but do speed video and many of you ask me not to do that and uh, I ask if you guys like to have a music in the background um no you guys like to listen to my voice the way I'm talk <laughs> so I was really surprised and thank you for that I do respect your wishes and I will um, do it together with you I'm not gonna speed up my videos because I guess that's what you like you like to see all the process so thank you so much for that and you know for some people it's probably like very very slow but many of you like this process and to be honest I like that as well I like to watch other people how they prepare their kids and I think I already keep forgetting to show you drill see because I talk okay anyway here it is beautiful blues very super sparkle as I said in my unboxing video guys this drills looks like it's a glass I think because they sparkle amazing okay that's gonna be number four the only thing I need to remember is not over tuck and put a lid on the wrong container with wrong number. Number five, beautiful red. I'm so tired these days. I've been working on my room probably like for a whole week right now almost week I moved so much stuff that some stuff I already forgot I have oh my god I have so much craft guys and it's because it was collected for so many years I started my craft from well started first really with like a crochet knit knitting and cross stitching uh, then I started paper craft and that's where trouble started because I couldn't stop shop at Michael's I love Michael's so much that was my favorite store to shop and that time I did not uh, shop online like I did not know about Aliexpress they can buy cheaper stuff I wish I could but you know I spent lots of money on Michaels for the same stuff I could buy on Aliexpress. Uh, what I want to point it out here, guys, six and nine. Always underline them so you can't mix up and drill with wrong number. Always, always, I do six and nine, always underline so I know exactly which number I have. So this is a little tip for you for today. And we go to number seven. I love these containers from Dollar Store, but they do take a little bit uh, space. You know, if you have couple kits open, it kind of lots of take a space. So Ziploc would be the kind of easy way to store and not to have too much space because like in here just so little beads right and a big container just a bulky but it's for me it's much more comfortable than a ziplock I just love these containers and I can see colors through that's kind of nice too As springtime here finally it's nice and warm outside now I have to start my 
real kind of job all winter I was just sitting home answering phone and right now I'm gonna start to work on people's gardens because that's what guys I do landscaping planting flowers putting lots of mulch in the flower beds so that's kind of my job and I will be working hard for the next three or four days till I finish and then I can drill so Wednesday no Tuesday it's gonna be really for me time to record lots of videos to schedule them because I'm falling a little bit apart with all this reorganizing my room I did not drill for a whole week and I missed it so much I cannot believe it I missed so much because I used to, to drill every day and all day long and now I need to do the real job that's my number nine I have to trim some bushes, plant some flowers, clean up yards. So, and you know, I do not mind to dig in the dirt. That's something that I always love to do to work with flowers. I don't mind to get my manicure dirty. Okay, that was the. No. Oh, okay. I was wondering. I have a two bags of ten. Okay, good. I almost I already mixed up the my drills, guys. My containers. Whew. Okay, this is just a lots of, of this brown color. Okay, this is, is the fullest container, lots of sparkle like very burgundy brown color, I don't know. Next we have, looks like 310 and they usually, even if it's a well, it doesn't say 310, but it's a black. And they are still different, not as regular diamonds. They still much more shinier as round drills. I think they always kind of special. I don't know. Even looks like same round drill as would be on a regular diamond painting. But I think it's still more more sparkle okay so this one is 11 Very pretty. Uh, lately, my viewer said that uh, she was so happy to see my video and find the full drill of sparkle gems. Um, mostly, people find only partials, and that's why, guys, you have to look not for the special shape um, drills because they not listed under special because they doesn't have a different shapes and that's the only way why you have to stroll through pages and pages to find them and that's what I did okay now do we have feels like I'm listening lit or what did I do 14 
did I miscalculate? Because I don't think I see another container in here. I probably. So this one's 14. That's pretty. A little bit of purple. Okay, here you go, 15. I knew I have them all. And this is my favorite as well. This color is gorgeous. I call it frosty. So pretty. So pretty. Oh, I wish it was more extra light so you can see those sparkles in the light, but I think it still have a uh, nice sparkle. So now I'm gonna guys let you go for a few seconds and I will return after I clean all this mess and set up my camera. We can drill a little bit together and also we're gonna test my new pen. Okay, I see you soon. Alright, let's get started. Also, I will try in here to work on this canvas. Not only my brand new pen, and we're gonna use uh, one drill. I already put wax up there, and we're also gonna test it out today. Our new from sasdeal.com uh, lightboard pad. So I'm gonna. Turn on right now and you can see if it's better for you or not to see canvas. One, two, three. What do you think? Is this way would be better or no? And also I already pull on a tray. I put all those beautiful blue colors which is right now kind of look different color that I see. But that's just a lack of light, I guess, or maybe even because the, the light from the board kind of mute color of actual drills. Um, so let's test our new pan, guys. And I hope this is good angle for you to see. And we will start number four. This blue colors. So let's see. I'm really excited to try this new pan. And I'm going to place my first drills right there. And I just barely, barely even touch uh, drills with the wax. Like I don't hold my pen too tight. And I don't squeeze. So I don't know, it's, it's comfy so far. It does look heavier because lots of rubber bands on it, but depends on your preference. If you like to be a fancy driller sometimes, or even for a nice picture on Instagram with fancy pen, that's good. The, the only thing, what I think about the um, light pad, guys, when I place my drills, they are look like a black one, right? They take a color away. Let me try to turn off right now and see if this way is going to be better so you can see actual colors. Okay, ready? One, two, three. What do you think now? I think it's enough light right now from the window for you from camera. For me, it's a little bit darker, but at least you can see the gems. Even gems now look more brighter, I would say. And I'm using my huge trade and I got from my lovely subscriber as a gift. Thank you Nat, I love it. This is so awesome tray. I can place lots of drills on at the same time. Very comfortable. This is my first big tray. Okay, let's see if we can bring you even more close to the canvas because 
okay can we bring you more clothes no we can't all right i guess not then more clothes i get then it's blurry get all right i guess this is the angle we're gonna drill with you together Now what I love about this canvas guys, this is pour on glue, this is not double sided glue and that's why canvas looks so good. The only thing they have those white circles around the numbers and not everybody like them. Me personally I don't like them either because then you have to be really be precise and put drill exactly on that circle so you don't see white lines but also at the same time this is big help for somebody who have a hard time to line up drills so if you place your drill exactly in that circle then you know your lines will be straight so this is kind of like advantage and disadvantage, depends how you look at it. But I'm definitely enjoy this, this, this drills, sparkle gems, rhinestones, they are look beautiful. So sparkle, I just don't have a, enough light in here guys. Now the talking about wax, I purposely pull a little bit more wax and I kind of hold on let me do a little bit more I'm gonna press a little stronger to my drill what happened well I think right now as much as you can see you see the excess of wax let me find an angle there's a wax is sticking out from the pan usually I just wipe out the excess and that way the wax will not stick to your drill when you push it harder a little bit so I always put more wax then I squish as I need and the rest of it's go nice and smoothly plus this is very easy to do because the canvas is with round drills and not everybody like square drills because they do sit tight to each other and with this kind of drills it's easy to do even for kids if you want to attract your kids to do diamond painting with you together I would say always say start with round drills and if you see this kind of craft then go advance and buy a square diamonds they are beautiful when they line up all tight together only if you don't have a pop and drills and that's something that i want to do review in my future video because i finished one of those diamond painting that has a horrible horrible diamond popping again i did once already with the wish girl and now I have another one like that so I say to get you more confident start with round drills and this guys drills you will love these gems if you look at them in the sunshine absolutely stunning and it's so easy to do and I, I assume that each color in here is coordinating with the drills of the canvas like the canvas now blue I'm placing the blue gems so if here number 10 is brown let me check my drills and they are brown so each color coordinate with drills that you need so the background kind of help you to hide those corners because round drills has those spaces between them so the coordinating colors on the background it really helps to hide those pieces and you not gonna see much of the canvas it's kind of like 
illusion to hide it for, from you. As my kind of uh, working on a review in progress, I would say, the drills is sticking very nicely to the canvas. You can push them a little bit if you want. And I just want to see if they easy to move around. Usually with glass beads, uh, they are sliding. See, they, they slide nicely from side to side if you place gems on the wrong side. So because of this white background of the drill, shiny, see silver one, so it's like a glass or mirror, they slide in nicely on the canvas, so it doesn't matter what kind of glue you will have, they always will slide and place nicely on your canvas. And with poor glue, you're always going to have best outcome uh, because the glue is really nice and smooth. You do not have those ridges or rivers, mm, different people call them differently. Um, also as known as uh, air bubbles under the glue, this kind of glue you're not going to have. It. So this is my like a highly, highly suggested for you canvases to order. And this is my first canvas from sasdeal.com that I work in right now, guys. And this is my kind of first opinion how this look like while I'm working. So I really love it so far. I think the diamonds looks nice. What you saying? Looks really good. And now I'm just trying to get to the light. You see how sparkle they are? And this is like what now? 7 o'clock at night guys and my blinds is open so I don't have an extra light right now. And I think this diamonds is really beautiful. So it, this is definitely something if you're looking about the special gems. Not special shape gems because don't mistake you're gonna receive different diamond painting. You look for you just have to go through the pages, honestly, uh, and that's how I found this one. I just scroll through the hundreds of pages, and then I read descriptions, and that's how I know what kind of gems I will get or what kind of drills I will get. So this is fairly important to read descriptions. Also, if you read. Uh, well, there's a lot of hearts or how many people bought this or that canvas. So if you see a high number of hearts, like who love this diamond painting, so it's definitely something to consider that it's going to be a good quality and you're going to love it. Also, I love this pen. It's nice and soft and squishy on my fingers. And I hold, as you can see, only like, I don't hold tight like this, like also lots of people using it. I'm holding only with tip of my, like I'm holding here, holding, helping with my nail and just like two in here. That's it. That's how I drill. So I'm holding it very, very light. I don't put pressure on my pen ever. And very often, I put my drills right into the canvas, so that way I have a very little space between my tray and canvas. So if I work, let me just see what you see in here. So if I work like this, trying to find my space in the camera. That way I don't use my arm, my shoulders, I'm using only my wrist to pick it up and place it. And that way I work faster. It's I'm talking right now, I do very slow. 
but when I by myself gave me those jams I will oopsie this one drop as I say I do not place them too hard on my pen so I just like touch it and that's it so what do you think so far look how sparkle they are so we're gonna finish together this little square in here and then um, because I'm not speeding up my videos so you don't wanna watch me hours and hours probably how I drill this canvas from beginning to the end unless you do let me know because this is something very awesome canvas also remember that I have unboxing rainy day diamonds and also that diamond painting was full drill in gems guys make sure you check it out and I just can't wait to see when she's gonna bring a uh, new diamond painting into her store because that particular one that I received was sold out and that's a beautiful birds canvas if you remember so there's lots of diamond painting you can find with sparkle gems you just have to look for them and I have quite some quite you know many videos with those kind of gems you just watch videos sometimes you have to watch from beginning to the end depends how many I unbox okay so this is what we have so far it looks absolutely gorgeous let me just um, zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna close so now when I place my diamonds usually you see I'm doing such a good job I think that I don't even need to use this pusher I can use it as a lineup maybe like to place right on the edge and then place my diamonds or also you can you know push the row and even up like this later after you finish placing your diamonds so yeah this is really handy tool as well um, I want to show you okay so now when I place these drills usually I cover clear sheet back and I just just for in case if I miss the little corner and place on top of other beads I push them down to make sure they all adhere to the glue directly and not on the top of each other and now I'm gonna show you just a little quickly here how I organize my drills I put them let me get a little bit more up okay so as you can see I have here I put like two con two containers into the storage thing so by two squares so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and 15 and then I have room in here for my tools and the tweezers sometimes I like to place with tweezers too unless I have some you know some dust I have to pull it out or some fur uh, from the canvas so that this tweezers is really handy and then I have here containers with my waxes different colors different shape and yeah so that's how I gonna work on it that's how I store and I think I will drill a little bit by myself and then you in the comments you tell me if you wanna do this canvas all together or not or you want me to drill a little bit chit chat with you and then continue by myself and that's how I work guys I work by the colors not by the section so that's why kinda I never see how this canvas gonna look like till the very end because now I have in here then I gonna go on this corner in here and I will work on all those blues in here all the way around and then I'm gonna pick up different color and work that color all the way to the end so that's why I like the clear sheets 
they I, I love to see where I place my color so it's easy for me to lift it up clear sheet and place my drills so thank you so much guys for staying with me sorry if this video a little bit too long for you and I will try to upload my videos a little bit more often I'm just with this renovation of the craft room and work on my gardens I will fall a little bit behind but stay with me I will be right back alright I do not disappear forever so thank you so much and thank you to my new followers for follow me uh, I appreciate that you subscribe to my channel and I will try my best to provide you with a good quality videos and some reviews, unboxings and some tips and tricks, tutorials and do lots of fun. So see ya soon.